Welcome to a video on learning RenPy. In this video I'm going to cover editing the options file. I put up an example here of the question. It's one of two different example projects that come with the RenPy 7 launcher. I put up its about page here. So we see the title, the question, version, RenPy 7 edition, as well as information right here on the about. As well as license information here at the bottom. Now let's pause and go look at the options file I've loaded behind this. When pulling up the options file from the RenPy 7 launcher, you have access to the different options, named the same thing, of, of the project. Some, some of these shouldn't really be changed, but some of the basics ones, especially ones at the top of this file, are ones you might consider changing or adjusting as part of development on your project. You see here, line 15 is the start of this. Defined config.name and the question. Notice the comment right above this lets it know that the underscore and parentheses around it marks a string as eligible for translation. This is something you can include in your project in multiple places. And in fact, was included in the character file or the character definition in the script file as underscore and parentheses around it as something which could be translated. So we see here the question, the name of this project as a human readable name, as it says right here. So we down here we see GUI show name, GUI dot show name, true, and the version of the game. These are the same things we saw as I just pulled it up from the question. We saw its name, config name, and the version, RenPy 7 edition. Underneath that we see GUI about, included as a string that runs multiple lines, starting on line 32 and ending on line 40. And that's what the same text was defined right here. By changing these three options, config name, config version, and GUI about, we can change some of the basic information that a player would see when looking at a visual novel. Compared to the question here we ha I have pulled up, we can see again config name, config version, and GUI about right here. Most of these other options right here most of these other options within this file are not things that should be changed unless you know what you're doing. For example, changing the build name or changing the build version are things that you can actually do through the RenPy launcher itself. And these files will be updated as you adjust those. However, sounds and music are something you should consider. Will you have sound? Will you have music? Will you have voice? You can change all three of these and turn them on and off depending on what settings you want without actually programmatically changing those. You can just change their options in this options file. And depending on, want, depending on if you want, you can do sample sounds and sample voice as well. Following down here for transitions, just like defining transitions using the with keyword within the code of a RenPy script file, we can also define what transitions to enter and exit. As it says here in the comments, these transitions are used when certain events occur and should be set to a transition or none to indicate that no transition should be used. And by default here, we see in this example, dissolve as an enter transition and dissolve as an exit transition. And none and none as in-game transition and after load transition. The rest of these files, especially with window management, should only be used or changed if you know what you're doing. But these could be played with depending on how you want to do config window, show or hide or auto, change the enter window uh, transitions here, dissolve in this case, or change other preferences. It's usually highly not recommended to mess with the save directory unless you really know what you're doing and you want it to save to a local instead of Windows, Macintosh, or Linux more global save directories. However, you can change the icon for the taskbar or, or dock. This is defined in the GUI file as window I underscore icon. Build configuration shouldn't really be messed with or and the same uh, each IO or each project name can be adjusted when using that launcher option. But again, the launcher like build options like this can be adjusted within the launcher itself and the option files will just reflect those changes instead of changing it in the options and not in the launcher itself. But again, as a review, editing the options file allows us to change the options, some of the very basic settings about our project. 
We can change the config name. We can mark it as eligible for translation using underscore and parentheses around it. We can also change whether or not title should be shown in the main menu, what our configuration version is, as well as information in the GUI about, which will be showed when we look at the about screen. Just like coming back to this example in the question, we see the name, the version, and the GUI about information on the about screen, all of which can be changed in the options file. Thanks for watching.